So another fun thing that can happen is when you actually <laughs> win. It doesn't happen often. This is like your third spin, wasn't it? I think it's my third spin, yeah. So, um, gameplay, $220. And it's on Lobster Mania 2. Thank you, Larry. So actually, my first good win of the trip. So we are down in front of the Statue of Liberty and when 9-11 uh, happened in 2001, this whole area here was really used as a memorial. This is a little dedication plaque for this, but they would put up, I remember seeing t-shirts up here. Uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty emotional sight to see all the different things that they, uh, all the people that put stuff to, to recognize what had happened. But this is the Statue of Liberty, which you can tell is pretty tall up there. But um, this is the front side. Back here is, this is Tropicana Avenue, and then here is Las Vegas Boulevard if you're trying to get, figure out where we are. One cool thing is the MGM, and you can see the lion for the MGM. So, so just a little bit of area in terms of where everything is located on the strip. So one of the cool things that they did not too long ago was they changed their plans and making this kind of like you're walking through a park. So it's really cool how they put all these additional trees in here. I really like how they added this touch on the floor. But they added a, a lot of this and it just gives it more of a... like you are. I mean, I've never been to... Central Park, but it just kind of makes me feel like I'm coming through to a... We are coming up to Tom Urban's. Greg, what do you feel about Tom Urban's? The breakfast was good. Their mimosas are pretty good, too. We'll probably be eating there tomorrow, again. Yeah, we've learned to... Um, we've, we've learned. We started coming here a lot. Um, this is usually our meal on the last day. They have really good... They're like hash browns, and they put cheese in it. Here is the Shake Shack. You can get some alcoholic shakes. We'll look at the menu. Well, they have wine shakes. They have what? They have wine, like beer and wine shakes, it looks like. Chefmeister beer float. So uh, some of the cool like areas. Before. Yeah, we're going to walk through this way, but I like this way here. This is called the park. And this is going to T-Mobile Arena, where they are now home to the Las Vegas Golden Knights, but really so cool. I love this area with the fountain. Isn't that cool looking? Kind of get dizzy looking at it. This is a park theater. Uh, some of the groups that are playing here now is um, Cher, well not groups, but performers. Cher plays there. Um, Bruno Mars and Ricky Martin are the ones that have been performing here lately. Some more restaurants here. You have, uh, looks like Bruxy, fried chicken and waffles. There's a beer house or beer house. I really like this area. You can see the signs here for the Golden Knights. This is their very first year that they've actually started playing and they're actually doing really good which is uh, pretty unique for a an expansion team so this is the Bruxy original waffle sandwich you can see the video actually of what they are showing looks really good a holy chicken it's a new waffle sandwich interesting this is one of the entrances into New York New York 
there's several different en entr exits and entrances that you can get to this area from within the New York, New York Hotel. Cool. You can play games. Yeah, this area is really cool because you can see some games here, but... Yeah, they had a huge... They must have put it away. They had a huge Connect Four. No, the Golden Knights. The Golden Knights. They had a cutout of, uh, like, if you're a goalie. Um, they had a goalie a, a net. Um, I'm not sure if, if they were shooting games with it or, or what. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen an actual hockey game in person, but it's uh, a lot different than watching it on TV. It's uh, pretty amazing to see how graceful they are and, and how they, uh, with the action that goes on outside of the eye of what's being shown on TV. Here's California Pizza Kitchen. I know there's pretty much a lot of those that are out about. Here's one that's kind of interesting. It's called the Sake Rock. <coughs> interesting to see. Uh, I don't know if they have hot sake there though. Yeah, they do. Uh, is it look like a restaurant? Yeah, it's, well, I guess it is. I've yeah. never seen this place that busy oh, either. We should have a shot. But um, here is... Here. Miso soup. Yeah, a little bit about yeah, they do here. the menu. Some of it's really expensive because if you look at... Um, where am I? I saw a picture of all you can drink, $30 sake and beer. That's not too bad, actually. Um... I guess the prices aren't too bad. Some places in New York or in Las Vegas are very expensive. It just depends where you eat, which is kind of interesting because at one time Las Vegas was known for getting a good cheap meal, like a buffet. But now so many designer and popular uh, uh, chefs have restaurants here. There's so much competition here, um, but the cost varies uh, in terms of what you can get. But um, Really good food in Vegas. That's one of the things definitely when you come to experience all the different cuisine that you can get here. All right, so we decided to get at the Saki Rock, we decided to get the Hanna Berry, which, let me see if I can say it. Hanger One Mandarin Blossom Vodka, Nagari Saki, Finest Call Alba Flower Syrup, Fresh Lemon, Sparkling Blueberry Saki. So it's $14. Gonna put it in a cup like this for us, even though it should be smaller. It should be smaller. <laughs> so it's nice of them. But um, I don't know if you guys have any sake. It's really strong stuff. So we'll see how we feel after we uh, walk along this trip. <laughs> but it should keep us warm. So this is another thing that you can do in Vegas, which you can't do in, <laughs> in many places. You can actually walk along the street and uh, drink an alcoholic drink. So we got... We didn't know it came with a flower, but yeah. it just adds to it. Um, was it called this? Oh, we took a video of it to see what it is. So uh, cheers, Greg. Cheers. To G&G Explorers on the Strip. You definitely don't have to drink to walk on the Strip, but it definitely uh, adds uh, to it. And as you can tell from Greg, it is strong. It's strong and it tastes really good. That's a potent combination. Yeah, it has a blueberry sparkling sake is what it shows. So this is a special monument that they have here. They have some holiday stuff here that they start to set up. And this is an area that I really am happy that they, they did. So we are out front of the T-Mobile Arena and this is actually one of the things that you can do here in Las Vegas and out, actually outside of New York, New York and the Monte Carlo. So this is an ice skating rink. So really cool. I mean, it's amazing to see this backdrop of to be ice skating. Now, the one thing of warning, this is not an actual ice skating rink. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but they look like little kind of like a puzzle pieces that are linked together. We talked to that lady right there because we, we had asked her if she was actually going to, uh, if it was going to ice up. But they had a, a windstorm last night and she's actually just mopping it. Um, but she did say that um, this is more for beginners. They do have other ice skating rinks, I guess, on, on the strip. I believe there's one at the Cosmopolitan. But um, 
this is good for beginners who have never gone here before. Even that, because they actually are on ice skates. It's a really cool area just to uh, to experience ice skating in um, in Las Vegas. Who would have thought? Uh, now, last year they used to actually have it right here, probably pretty much where the Christmas tree was in this area here. It moved around, and that was actual ice. So they kind of changed it. I guess they're under different ownership this year or so, um, I would assume. But um, still fun. If you've never gone ice skating before, um, you, if you fall, you won't fall on ice. Looks a little bit more cushiony, but really cool area. And as you can see, there's some entertainment things that they have, must have going on. And then they also have some food that can also help. They do have obviously the hockey here. So I would imagine the vendors are active during the time when they have uh, a hockey event going on too for people who want to get some food. So this is another thing that you can do at New York, New York, is you can actually come in here and you can get a chocolate treat. So if you've never been into one of these stores here, they have some incredible looking treats. You can buy something here too. Oh wow. These are the chocolate covered strawberries, as you guys can see them. These are Whopper Krispy Treats. They are all Rice Krispy Treats. Look at this. This is the chocolate brownie. Wow. These are the other ones in here. Look at this one. <laughs> so if you like chocolate, this is definitely the place to go. If you also have a craving for chocolate kisses, you can get them in a lot of different flavors here. Look on the back wall. A lot of different flavors here. You can mix and match. Looks like they got cherry cordial, almond, candy cane kisses, caramel. And then another thing which is fun, this is made out of chocolate. It's a chocolate statue of liberty. Hershey's chocolate bars. We did that for friends of ours. But this little station here is where you can do that. And you can get it. It's basically a sleeve that you can put on a lot of the different chocolates depending on the flavor. <clears throat> you also have some that have Las Vegas on it, different kind of pictures on it. Oh, look at that. If you love Reese's, there is your wall, the Reese's wall. And uh, yeah, where is that one, Greg? There is. A oh, giant cool. Reese's Pieces candy bar. Where is that? I don't, I don't see it, but they're like huge cups. And then the last thing that you can do here is just outside is the uh, chocolate bar. And you can actually have an alcoholic drink. And they also have a chocolate martini, which we've tried before. And it's very good. But this is at the New York, New York. Another fun thing you can do at New York, New York is visit Hershey's Chocolate World. So another thing that you can do here on at New York, New York is eat at one of the restaurants here inside the village. So there's a couple of different options that you can actually do here. And uh, we've eaten at a couple of them already. Uh, but they have here a pizza, which I don't believe it's open 24 hours, but I know it's open late at night. Uh, they do have a, it's the bar at the Times Square. They do a lot of good shows at night. They have a dueling piano here, which is pretty fun if you've uh, ever been here. You have over here uh, Times Square hot dogs. There is the Greenberg's Deli. Now, we actually haven't been there for a while. We did go to Gonzalez and Gonzalez yesterday, and it was pretty darn good. Yeah. Really good. So we ate at the 48 crate this morning. That's where we used our extra tickets for playing the uh, Las Vegas slots on the machine, on the phone. There's Tom Urban's, which I highly would recommend that place. We're gonna head through this way. 
This is Gonzalez Z. Gonzalez. This is actually the Greenberg Deli that I didn't get a chance to show you. They have the pastrami here, which is really good. There is Gonzalez Z. Gonzalez, and this is, talked about it a little bit on another video, but this is a little outside court that you can also sit outside. And it does make it seem like you're outside in a village. We're gonna walk this way. There's the burger bar and grill, which is where we ate the first night. But you can also head this way. You can see the roller coaster that comes through up here. But they also have a little bakery here. And then as we go through, we come through to the burger bar and grill. And there is one more place that you can actually eat here. One is a um, ice cream place. I believe it might be a yogurt place, which is right here. There is the burger bar, the Broadway bar and grill. Here is a frozen yogurt. And then next to it here is a fish seafood place. It's the Fulton Fish and Fry, where you can get clam chowder, fish and chips, jumbo shrimp. So we are outside of Gallagher's, and this is the uh, restaurant. This is, it is very expensive, as I had mentioned before, but um, it's really, really good food. And you get a lot of meat. So this tells you a little bit about the aging process. This is actually the different meats that they have. And then here is, you might see a better view of this area here. It's really cool because they have all these old pictures of, those are, those are jockeys on that wall. I thought they had actors and actresses, which it might depend on the different rooms. Ty Cobb. Like the Yeah, like the brown derby. Kind of reminds me of that. But this is inside the village. One other restaurant. Actually, there's a couple more restaurants we didn't talk about. In New York, New York. Uh, Chin Chin has been remodeled. But this is a morning buffet Asian style. Here is California uh, Italian restaurant. And there's never also, there before. No, um, we've had the bakery and we weren't too impressed with it. It was, what we had, the pastries were dry, but it might have changed. That was probably like five years ago. And further on down is the America restaurant, which we talked about with the donut. That has a really good buffet. Or not buffet, but they have good the breakfast. breakfast. It's almost like a, it reminds me of like a Denny's style breakfast. But here is. Bakery Cafe. These are, are good too. samples. Oh, excuse me. So it looks really good. And then this is open 24 hours. We got some good donuts here. And it's the home of the croissant, the croissant, croissant donut. <laughs> Greg usually rides roller coasters really good, and he was really nervous going on this one. I was fine, but <coughs> I must admit, going up that climb, I wish I would have been going off of it. And as you can see, up here, it drops really good as it comes down. <laughs> so, uh, pretty scary. So another fun thing you can do at New York, New York is ride the roller coaster at New York, New York. And it's also called, it's called the Big Apple Coaster. Coaster and Arcade. So if, so if you're not sure how to get here, down over there on the corner is where you can come up the escalator from the casino, which we would highly recommend. Down here, 
is a little floor path for you to never get lost. We're on our way to the roller coaster. That one looks fun too. Oh, 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 oh. We've never Thanks. actually played here yet, have we? Right. We have in the front. That's where the roller coaster would be. This is where you actually get out of it. And then here is the entrance. And then around the corner is there is where you go into the coaster. Another thing you can do if you want, which we wouldn't recommend, but if you're in the village eatery, it's easy to do. We walk right down these steps. Be careful, that's kind of fall. <laughs> We're actually going to walk down there. You can see the <laughs> roller coaster track after it comes into the house. They should be testing it pretty soon. The house? Yeah, the building, the main building. So Greg, how many times have we been on the roller coaster? Did we just go once? One time. And what did you think? We went at night time. Um, it was pretty scary, but it was still fun. So just another fun thing you can do at New York, New York is ride the roller coaster. So as you guys can see, there is a lot you can do at the New York, New York Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. There's a roller coaster, there's all kinds of fun and games, and who knows, you might even win some money, or even the Mega Millions if you play long enough. So come join us sometime if you see us at the wonderful New York, New York Hotel and Casino.